What's up YouTube and welcome back to Homebrew Subaru. In this episode I'm going to be testing out this GPS speedometer. What's up everyone? So I have been driving my Nissan around without a proper speedometer, which is not recommended. It's a good way to get a speeding ticket. Uh, I have a really good judgment of speed and just being in what gear and just the scenery going past me. I can usually determine approximately what speed I'm going. Um, but I do want something to identify what speed I'm going on the highway because it's a little bit more difficult to judge. I, I don't really have a lot of options with the setup that I have because the instrument cluster is uh, electronic speedometer from the KA engine that was in the car but the RB transmission that's now in the car uh, operated by cable and realistically the only way to get that to truly work is to get an R32 Skyline instrument cluster and stick it in the car uh, which uh, I haven't found a good priced one, and so that's kind of not an option anymore. So I kind of started to wonder what was I going to use for actual speed, and uh, you know, kind of contemplating just using my old phone and sitting it up on the dash to show me GPS speed. And then I started thinking, well, maybe there's something on Amazon or eBay that someone's selling that does the same job, and sure enough, there was. So this is the set that I went with. I believe I did get this on Amazon. The unit is quite small, sits on the dash, and basically reflects what speed you're traveling onto the windshield and kind of gives you a heads up display of your actual speed as you're traveling. Uh, it does have some kind of compass uh, set into it as well as you can see in the picture here. Uh, I, I have had a little bit of testing so I know that it does work before starting this video, but uh, I think I'm going to actually kind of maybe stick it in place and then uh, we're going to go for a drive and just see how well it works and you know how how easily you can see it on the windshield with the sun coming through the the, the windshield because uh, the way that I had it sit, sitting as soon as the sun hit the windshield I couldn't see it at all so uh, there is a kind of a polarizer lens or something to put on the on the windshield so that may improve it and then they also give you this little sticky pad to uh, get the unit to stick to the dash. So I'm going to kind of set this up and we're going to actually go for a little drive. Okay, so I've got the unit kind of stuck down into the dash. I, I put the little sticky pad onto the dash, but it seemed to sit the unit too flat. The uh, USB cable plugs into the bottom of it, so kind of just wedging that into the edge of the dash sits it perfectly. And then I did put on the uh, reflective film to give just be able to seal it a little better. Uh, try and bring the camera down to eye level and I'll just power it up, see if the camera can actually see it. Uh, it's hard to see, but just with the light reflecting, but I mean, you can certainly see it. Okay, this might not be the easiest thing to film, but you can see uh, we're starting to pick up speed on the highway. And you can really see this thing really well. Even against the sun, with that reflector on it, on the windshield, you can pretty much, uh, you can pretty much see the, sp the speed in the sun as well. So I'm, I'm quite impressed with, uh, you know, how well the heads up display works and how consistent the actual speed stays. You can actually set uh, like an overspeed detection, so and you can see as we get to overspeed or to the point of speeding, uh, a little alarm will, will go off, and you can preset that alarm to whatever you like. Yeah, 
yeah, for what it is, I'm uh, I'm very impressed on how well it's working. It's definitely going to keep me from getting a speeding ticket. So I couldn't film that for a very long time. It was difficult to actually drive the car and hold the camera, and I couldn't really situate the camera at an angle to pick up um, a good visual of the speed. I'm quite surprised at the reaction time that this thing has. It was definitely better than I expected. Uh, very similar to what a cell phone would do. So if you had a cell phone set for pick up your speed on GPS and you had it sitting on the dash, they would probably almost be the same. And the way that I've got it sitting there now, um, I might need a little bit more of a permanent solution uh, to get it to actually stay in place. But for right now, I mean, it is, it's stuck there. It's just, uh, it does wiggle around and whatever. So if I'm thinking of maybe putting a wedge in underneath of it, and then it would just, uh, it would always sit there and not move at all. But it really doesn't obstruct view at all. And it gives me a reference of how fast I'm going. Because at some points, I know that I'm traveling over speed and I don't really want to be speeding around in this car because it's the type that'll get me tickets. The other reason I could see someone probably purchasing one of those is like if they're out in the woods a lot on a dirt bike or um, an older four wheeler that doesn't have a speedometer, that would be a great solution. Uh, unfortunately, it, it's just a LED lit up screen and uh, it's not actually a digital display if it was then you'd have the option of like kind of reversing it so it wouldn't have to reflect as a heads up display on the windshield it would just be able to show you what your speed that you're traveling but for the 28.99 that i spent on it um, it's definitely a versatile uh, solution for what i need and that was pretty much the first time out with it i haven't had it into another car to actually verify how close it is uh, I could tell at some points it was probably showing me a little bit faster than what I was traveling. And realistically, if you're in a situation like I am where you can't get a speedometer on your car, uh, having this is probably the cheapest, easiest, and fastest solution to getting a speedometer in your car other than using your phone on the dash. So I, I can actually recommend it for those guys that kind of run into that situation where they need something and they don't want to spend a lot of money or a lot of time trying to figure out what they're going to do. But if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Leave your questions and comments further down below and I will see you in the next one.